Hey everyone, it's Admiral Seabass. Welcome to my war room in Indianapolis, Indiana. This is Soviet Far East Command Turn 2.1 in Operation Killing Fields. I hope you uh, enjoyed Captain G and Ozark's turns. Um, and uh, so let's get into it. So uh, first thing we're going to do is tech. So got my tech dice set up over here. Um, so I'm going for computers with the red dice. Advanced SLBMs with the green dice here. With the dark brown dice, I'm going for chemical warfare doctrine. And then with the blue dice, we're doing advanced manufacturing. All right. Okay, that's not as good. <laughs> I miss computers. So the red's a miss, the blue's a miss, the brown's a miss does look like I got advanced SLBMs, so we will go on the board for advanced SLBMs. All right, so now, <clears throat> global operations, <clears throat> excuse me. So you can see here that the U.S. Pacific Command did manage to place an insurgency into Cambodia, so now I have to attempt counterinsurgency uh, against that. So what I have done, and I'll show you here, I've spent two IPP for two dice, and then I'm using my advisor here for a third dice. So, just grab three red dice here. That'll be a total of three dice, and I'm looking for a 10 or higher to eliminate the insurgent. And you can't see this one here, but it is a 12 uh, there. So uh, we did just barely get that done. So um, what happens is the um, pack insurgent is eliminated. Uh, Cambodia goes to the Far East Command. And then all the, the, land, the units convert to Far East Command. And I'll grab that Sam there, and I will place it with a Soviet Sam. So, there we go. Okay, so then let's go to unit purchase. And to do that, I'm going to take you all the way over here to here. You can see my Far East Command build plate here. So I came in with 20. Uh, as you can see, I spent two on the um, counterinsurgency, and I'll go ahead and move that advisor back to the board there, or to my dashboard. So uh, I'm going to spend, I have my Red Fleet discount, which I get because I have more capital ships in the Pacific than the Pacific Command does. So I get a minus one discount on all naval units. So I'm going to finish the cruiser off of the ship and facility production chart for three. I'm going to build two frigates for four. That's two each, minus one discount each. And then I'm going to build one SAM. Okay, so <clears throat> then let's come back to our normal view. <clears throat> and we just have a few moves <clears throat> to make. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, covered our purchases. Obviously, well not obviously, but we have no combat movement. So, we are going to continue our sea lift movement of our SAM, and he's going to go 1 to P-28, 2 to P-36, 3 to P-45, and then he will go through the major port <coughs> there that um, is in South Vietnam, and he will go into South Vietnam. Okay. And then we will we will air redeploy. I have an air redeploy capacity of one. We will air redeploy one <clears throat> fighter from Magadan all the way down here to South Vietnam. <clears throat> and I think that's it. <clears throat> Hang on. 
on just a minute, guys. I think that's all my moves for this turn. Yep, that is all my moves. Okay, so place units. We will uh, place the Sam. We'll go here in Vladivostok. Okay, giving me two Sams there now. <clears throat> the cruiser and the two frigates will both be built, all three will be built a minor shipyard in Vladivostok, and they will be, go into this fleet here in P8. Okay, so that gives me now two cruisers and three frigates in that fleet, and I'll do a disposition, guys, uh, privately, so we don't bore our uh, audience with that. Okay, so that's place units. Now I'm at collect income, so let's swing over here. And you can see here I'm still at 10 IPP. So I saved eight there on my dashboard. So I'll slip a 10 underneath there. And I'll have 18 to spend next turn. This is Admiral Seabass signing off.